Okay, this is trial number three. See if something will work this time. Will it work? <laughs> I'm trying to see something. Uh, I think that somebody's writing, but I can't see it. Um, sorry, just one second. I'll try to move my phone a little bit. Oh, there, I think. Okay. So, hello. <laughs> um, I'm sorry if this will be really, really bad. Because this is my first trial ever doing a stitch along or uh, like live video. So, if you are joining me, hi. It's been a very long time. Um... Oh, I can see some messages. Hi, Nicole. And hi, Melissa. <laughs> it's so nice to see you guys. Um, I haven't been on YouTube for three months, so it's kind of difficult right now. Um, but I wish this will work at least, you know, for once. Because I don't remember how to film. Um, my phone is broken. And right now I am, right now I am kind of trying something. This is my old phone and my screen is not really good. So, um, yeah. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Shayla. Shayla? Can I see right? Um, okay. So, guys, for those of you who are here... <laughs> I'm going to be stitching uh, for a little while. Uh, baby is asleep. I have a little boy for those of you who don't know me. And it's right now, it is 12.45. It's nighttime, so it's pretty late. I'm going to try to stitch a little bit because it's been a very hard day. And uh, because I've been getting... Um, I have been getting really nice messages from some of my viewers um, asking me to film videos again. Yeah, um, I've decided to try and go live and I hope that I will make a fool out of myself. For those of you who don't know me or don't remember me, my name is Erin. I am from Israel and I am um, I'm addicted. I'm addicted to stitching and uh, yeah and I haven't been on YouTube for three months now because my uh, phone broke my camera on my phone it has lines in it and I don't know if you can see can you see lines on the screen yes I can see them oh um where am I located I'm from Israel I am from Israel. Um, is your name Shayla? Uh, can you see lines on the screen? Because that's the reason why I stopped filming. Because my uh, camera on my phone is broken. So, um, that's about it. Okay, let me see what I'm going to be stitching. By the way, this is 12 Beauties. If you are familiar with this project. If you are not, uh, oh, you don't see any lines. Okay, because I can see them right in the middle of the screen. <laughs> okay, I hope you don't. But if you have been watching my videos, uh, yes, Shayla, beautiful name. If you've been watching my videos, this is 12 Beauties. This is a Chinese kit. Uh, originally, it's from Domain, Dome, I think. Um, and I am in love with this project. It's so colorful. It's huge. I think it's going to take me forever. Um, yeah, I know. Um, I don't know what's going on with my phone. It's. I actually have a very good camera on this phone. But for some reason, something happened to it. I think my baby happened to it. 
because my son keeps taking my phone away and he plays games on it. He's not even two and he already plays games on my phone. So it's fun, you know. <laughs> uh, okay, so these are my threads. These are my organizers. They're from um, Dubko, if you know these. And this project has beautiful, beautiful colors. It actually has 99 colors. No blends. But um, I th I'm actually watching this on my... Uh, I'm watching all this on my computer right now. And I think that it's a little bit delayed. That's fine. Don't mind. I'm happy to have you as viewers because I was afraid that I'm going to be just uh, going online um, talking to myself a little bit like I usually do. But let's see what color I'm going to be stitching number 26. Okay, number 26 is... Let's look for it. Number 26 is this one, the green one. I love stitching with greens. Greens and uh, blues are my favorite colors. Oh, and gold. It's also my favorite. And I am seeing this on delay. It's really interesting, actually. I haven't, I've never done this before. So I don't really know what to talk about. Um, I haven't updated with my projects for a very long time now. For three months. And three months, it's a very long time. And a lot have happened. Um... A lot have happened. Let me just try and stitch. Uh, I hope that it won't move too much. I am actually having a bit of trouble with, you know, my... Um, no, I didn't go away. Um, with my setting, with my setup. Because, like I said, I've never done this before. So I don't really have an idea of how to, you know, set my... Set. <laughs> set my filming equipment so it won't move too much and everything will go smoothly maybe once I will figure this out like I said this is my first trial so I'm going to try and do my best and if I kind of you know make a fool of myself sorry um, but I do miss my viewers and I wish I wish I could film a little um, you know, much more than I do right now. I am, uh, a lot has been happening during these, you know, months that I haven't uh, been stitching. Yeah, I love these colors. I know this project is so colorful. Um, it's beautiful. I have actually seen it finished and on Russian f websites. And websites on Russian channels some of the girls have finished it and I think that it's one of the most beautiful projects that I've ever seen it's so colorful it has 12 geishas on it and they all are amazing this is the first Chinese kit that I am actually planning on finishing I hope that it will happen you know while I'm still young <laughs> before I get too old for this um yeah. So what time is it in Mexico right now? Um, Kayla? <laughs> no, Melissa said that she's from Mexico. What, is, what time is it in Mexico? Oh my gosh. I'm feeling really self-conscious right now. <laughs> I've never spoken, spoken live on YouTube. And by the way, you guys, those of you who are watching, are you stitching as well? It's really interesting if you are. Um, I don't think, I think that you are not seeing as well as I would have liked you to. So maybe I do need to change some of my, you know... I have another phone actually, but the screen on that phone is cracked. That's why I changed it. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh, 
know yet. Now I know that I can do some close-ups like this. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> uh, what is this? I'm trying to watch my computer to see what you're writing because um, it's so cool. <laughs> so glad to see you doing live. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Heather. I'm trying. I really am. I kind of am a little shy about it and I'm not really sure. I've been trying to go live for like a couple of times now uh, during this evening, but every time it failed, really, really failed because I couldn't set up my phone to, you know. It's 5.52. Where, Cynthia? Um, you're doing great. I'm glad to see you. Thank you. I'm glad to see you too. Ohio. Oh, it's 5.52 in the morning? Oh, p.m. <laughs> wow. I'm always stitching as well. I wish I could. Before my son was born, I was stitching. Well, if I was, wasn't working, I, I was stitching. I thank God my husband is not really, you know, um, crazy about me doing cooking and cleaning and stuff. He doesn't really care about that. So if I'm free, he lets me stitch. He's, he's actually telling me to go stitch. I'll leave him alone. <laughs> but since my baby was born, um, I'm kind of, my stitching kind of, you know, uh, went silent. A little bit. I'm I'm stitching at night. Um, what times is it? Uh, it's uh, it's twelve fifty three. It's felt twelve fifty three. Yeah, I think it's night time. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. Thank you, guys. Um. I'm I'm kind of I'm actually stitching and I'm watching you write and I am not really sure <laughs> what I'm stitching because I think that I already made a mistake. Thank God it's a leave, so it's not that important. But no, actually I didn't. Um, hi Germany, <laughs> it's nice to see you too. Eleven p.m. Uh. <laughs> In my country, it's 5.55. Um, yeah, I wish I could spend all night stitching. But I actually, I don't, I hardly sleep. I can go to bed at like 3 o'clock in the morning and my baby w wakes up at 8 o'clock. So 8 o'clock, I'm supposed to be up with him. He doesn't cry or anything, but he starts playing in his crib. So I kind of, <laughs> I don't want him to be alone. Thank you, Melissa. I'm trying. <laughs> you know what, guys? It's actually really, really fun. I am I am actually enjoying myself. Thank you for joining me. I was sure that I'm going to spend this, <laughs> this live by myself because I have no idea what time is it where you are. And I have no idea what I'm doing. So I'm kind of... This is a test, test drive. Maybe I'll be doing this a little more often. Um, I'm not a really big talker. So filming videos for me sometimes is hard because I don't really know what to say. I have a lot of progresses with my, um, with my stitching, but I don't, I don't really, you know, know what to say sometimes. Um, uh, holds my baby. He is almost two years old. He's going to be two in June and fifth on the fifth. He's going to be two years old. It's already been two years. I don't even believe it. Sometimes I look at him and I don't believe that he's mine. Um, but yeah, he is going to be two. Time is flying by. He is um he's an amazing little boy. Really, really active actually. Um 
you know what? I think that I'm going to be spending this watching the screen, reading your messages more than stitching. <laughs> um, you've been with me, so thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, I love filming videos, really. I do. I just um, because my camera wasn't working, it still is not working very well because I don't know if you can see that well on the screen. I see the lines on my screen. There are a lot of lines. Um, so I, it's really annoying and I, it, I can't film like this. Plus a lot of things have been happening, you know, in our lives lately. We are, we've been really busy and, you know, um, we were, we actually bought, uh, an apartment a house so it's been really hard um, time for us right now and that's the reason why I couldn't purchase a new camera I actually didn't have the funds for it I had a lot more you know important things to spend my money on so for now I am kind of going with a broken phone well, what can you do when you have a little boy that actually knows how to use uh, gadgets? <laughs> He's actually using my tablet most of the time. But when he sees my phone, he tends to steal it and he knows how to open it. Well, you know, he doesn't know my password, but when it's opened, he plays with it. <laughs> he plays with it. And he drops it sometimes, and that's what happened to my phone. It's the second phone that I have, you know, broken. So, um, I think that this is really delayed. But Melissa, thank you for being with me for all these years. I actually didn't expect, I do have another channel. I have a Russian channel. Uh, but I stopped filming on it, uh, for a little longer than this channel because I do love the interaction with my viewers more on this one. Uh, the Russian channel is kind of, you know, less interesting for me for some reason. I don't know, be because I started my whole YouTube channel thing, uh, with my Russian, you know. My Russian channel. Um, what did you say? Yeah, yeah, your little brother too. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, actually, my husband is the smart one in the family, and he is not giving him his phone. <laughs> he keeps it to himself. Um, so, yeah, I'm the only sucker, I guess. My husband won't give him his phone because he knows that he will break it. Um, but what can I do? He he he's so cute. You've learned a lot. Like what? Um, you mean stitching wise? Um, I don't know if I'm a good teacher when it comes to stitching because I do make mistakes myself and I. Uh, you know, I do what I want. I think that when it comes to cross-stitch, you need to do whatever you want. I mean, I don't think there's supposed to be rules, like, for how many projects you start, and how you stitch them. It's your, you know, choice. So, I'm happy that you have been watching me. It's nice to meet you, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, I know, from my channel. It's really nice of you, thank you. I'm trying to kind of focus on my stitching because I'm um, kind of sitting uh, in a weird position. Yeah, right. I, I am too. I enjoy the process. I actually have a couple of projects that I put aside because I stopped enjoying them. And I think that um, when you stop enjoying your project, to keep stitching it just because you have to finish it, 
it's kind of um it's not my thing i won't say it's stupid because some people do it but i believe that if it's not fun for me it's not supposed to be stitched sometimes i do have projects that i started and i kind of got tired of them even in my, on my channel um i think that if you've been watching, you kind of noticed that some of my projects disappeared. That's because I got tired of them. I It stopped being fun for me, and I put them aside. So, um, it's kind of too bad, maybe, from that side, because it's, you know, money. But if I'm not having fun with it, it's my hobby, it's not my job. And if it's not fun, it's not worth my time, so... I have projects that I'm stitching for years and I love, you know, so I think that those are more important. Do you have projects that you um, stop stitching? I mean, or because I am watching some of my uh, Russian YouTubers, uh, the, the stitchers, and sometimes um, they have this thing where they start a project just because they have to. I mean, if somebody else is stitching them, or um, maybe, I don't know, or maybe they started something and they have to finish it because they started it. Is that the right way to go? Because for me, I think that if you are making yourself do something, it's not worth it. Am I mistaken? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> um, I can say that... All of these projects, they cost money. Um, Israel is very expensive. So um, I do order my kits if I'm stitching kits from Russia, mostly. And their um, prices are amazing. But, you know, in Israel, it's not that... I don't know how to say this right, but we don't have all the kits and all the materials that I need for stitching um, because people don't do it here. It's kind of not that common. Um... Okay. Well, what does it say? Not really sure when I can do that. Um, that's right. Well, me too. I stitch only the projects that I love stitching. That's actually my stitching uh, routine, if you can call it that. I have a couple of projects that I'm working on, and I am enjoying them a lot. Um, and I kind of switch them, like, maybe every two days, every three days, sometimes every day. It depends on my mood. So, um, all the projects that I'm doing, I love. I'm actually planning something really big right now. Um... I have started a huge, huge project from Golden Kite. You probably saw on my last video. I don't even remember what I uploaded last. What was my last upload about? Um, but um, <laughs> mm. Actually, um, I love SKS threads, but um, I prefer DMC. DMC is more uh, expensive. In Israel especially, I can get a DMC skein for, um, I think, in Israeli, four, four shekel. I don't remember how much it, it is in uh, dollars, but... It's really expensive. Um, I get DMCs from Russian websites for um, maybe one third of the price. 
So I do prefer DMCs because of the colors. The colors are really true to what they're supposed to be in the final project. But um, final result, I mean. Uh, but as, as I actually do enjoy as well, I do stitch my chimeras with SHS, uh, some of them. I Did you ever try Perry? Because I think that Perry is really close to DMC. Really, really close to DMC. And they are less fluffy. Because uh, SHS, I think they're a little fluffy. Am I saying that right? Um, the thread is less you know smooth uh dmc is of course quality but it is more expensive and for projects like um, golden kite or something big like that it's really um it's really expensive to get so many gains Oh, well, yeah, <laughs> SHS is less expensive, yeah. I also got them from AliExpress a couple of times and from Katrusina Lokadelki, it's our Russian website. Um, but lately, with the, you know, whole war that's going on in uh, between Russia and Ukraine, um, I can't, of course, order anything from there. Not from Russia, not from the Ukraine's. Because, you know, they have closed all payments to that those countries. So, I guess not good. <laughs> um, you didn't hear of uh, Perry? Perry is a really good thread. You can try. I do recommend it. Um, over SHS, I do recommend uh, Perry. They're less expensive than DMC. But they are, you know, better quality, I think, than SKS. That's for sure. I'm actually stitching with Perry uh, my new project from Chimera, the uh, Flamingos. I stitched with um, Perry thread. And I really, really like it. I really do enjoy it. I was wondering if I am going to be doing lives, what times is more, you know, comfortable for you to be seeing it? Because I think that it's way too late to do it this time. People probably are already sleeping. <laughs> well, that depends on the timeline, but still. Uh, you can look on it online for it. I never get any materials in my country. I actually have a little store in um, Ashkelon, a nearby city where I live. It's like 15 minutes from me. And they have a little store uh, that has craft stuff in there. And they actually have kits and threads and stuff like that. But um, it's so not worth the money because a kit that costs maybe... Let's say like ten dollars, okay. Uh, in on the website that I got my kids from, here in Israel it would cost maybe fifty. So, uh, the prices are crazy, crazy, crazy prices. That's not worth it. I prefer to uh, wait for that kit a little bit and just get it in a reasonable price. I also get my stuff from 123 Stitch. Do you know 123 Stitch? Well, you can go to sleep then. <laughs> it's really, it's really late or early. I don't know. I actually do work tomorrow as well, but um, from three o'clock in the afternoon. 
Oh yeah, I used their fabric calculator as well a couple of times, but um, right now I am trying to collect materials for my dream project, my second dream project, because my first dream project was um, Golden Kite, which I have already started. Um, I hope that I will be able to update you about it soon, but... Um, Um, oh really, where did she live in Israel? <laughs> oh, I wish we didn't have to go to work and we could just stitch. The problem that I can't stitch on my stand, like, you know, like I do right now, I use my uh, flamingo stand. Um, because of my kid, he will never let it stand. He will definitely drop it on the floor. So the only project that I can stitch is <laughs> the ones that I use hoops on because that's something that he cannot take away from me. Well, he tries, but he, you know, he's unsuccessful with that. Yeah, it's pretty far. <laughs> Never been. But it's interesting. I would like to go to Texas one day. I would like to go abroad one day. Like, I don't care where. No, I do. I want to go to Italy. Um, My uncle went to Italy, and he said it was beautiful. Italy, Rome... No, I don't use anything for my hoops. I um, I tend to hold them in my hands. I don't like using, you know, I like feeling the hoop in my hand. Especially when you use a hoop, it's usually not a heavy project. It's a small one, so it's not that heavy. Um, the ones that I use frames on are big projects and they're really heavy and it's impossible to hold them. I've been on the airplane once when uh, we went to get married with my husband, but that doesn't even count, count as abroad. <laughs> we went to Kafrisim. I don't know if it's the right, what's the right name for it. Tel Aviv. <laughs> Tel Aviv? Tel Aviv is the... <laughs> Uh, the center of everything, but um, I don't like Tel Aviv. I live in Zdorot. You can check it out. It's the most shooted on city in Israel. It's really close to Gaza, so uh, whenever things heat up, they shoot missiles at us. It's really fun. <laughs> um, being not so funny. But I don't like big cities like Tel Aviv. I don't. I kind of get lost in them. I prefer smaller ones. I don't even remember the last time we went to Tel Aviv. I don't like it. I'm trying to watch my saga and figure out where I am because I'm kind of stitching without looking. <laughs> kind of know where I'm supposed to be going, but I'm losing myself reading what you're writing. It's pretty new to me, but I do like it. I think this is not the last time I go live. I just need to, you know, 
figure out when I'm going to be doing that. Can you hear me well? No, I'm not lost. Um Thank you, Heather. Actually, guys, I, um, yes, I do. I am, I am using a floor stand. I'm using a floor stand called Flamingo from Arabesca. It's really comfortable. It's really comfortable, but it's not as steady as I would like it to be. Um, though my frames are really, really big and they are heavy and that's why they are not that, um, you know, strong. I have the f Millennium frames that I use for my larger project. And if you ever use them, you probably know that they are really heavy. I wish one day to get um, floor stand from them. Maybe they're more, you know... Quality-wise, they are more set, steady on the floor. They're not moving as much. When I, you know, like you probably can see it's wobbly. So nice it's so quiet <laughs> I usually when I stitch at night I watch some series or movie or listen to audible but um, um, but right now not watching TV while I film this or while I, while I stream this uh, I actually hear how quiet the house is. Fun. Cannot wait to move to my new place. It's going to take maybe two months more, uh, but it is happening. We actually went to buy furniture today. We got two bedrooms and a living room and a lot more to do. <laughs> Oh, and we ordered a kitchen, my dream kitchen. I'm really, really excited. Oh, I missed, I missed a couple of crosses. I knew that I was missing something. Oh, I love true crime stories. <laughs> My actually, my husband actually thinks that I'm some serial killer myself because I always watch true crime stories about serial serial killers and stuff like that. It's really interesting. Uh, yeah, I do that too. I actually did. Um, I started watching. Um, I started. I lost my line of thought. <laughs> I've started uh, doing another diamond painting. I had a little diamond painting, so kind of missed it. So while I'm watching, while I'm doing my diamond painting, I am watching True Crime on my phone. So. Yeah. Thank you. I'm really, really excited about it. My new house um, It's going to be really good to actually move to our own place because we've been living on rent for you know as long as we've been married and it is not you know it's not your how it's not your home and you cannot do whatever you want with it so um yeah i hope that everything will be good because we've been having a little trouble with the seller 
it's a new project, a new, you know, housing, um, and it's a new apartment. So the, I don't know how to say this in English. How I make my fab? Um, it's on a millennium frame, so it is really, you know, taut. <laughs> so how do you say that? Um. I don't like my fabric to be loose. I like it to be like drum like like this. If you can hear that. It's annoying when my fabric is hanging. I like to feel the you know to feel the drum. <laughs> Um, you know what made me do this live? Um, I've actually been watching TikTok and there was, um, a girl, actually an Israeli girl that had been doing live stream, um, while she was doing, um, you know, while she was doing diamond painting and I, that's what made me think, what if I'll try to do live stream? I don't really use TikTok. I don't film TikToks, but I watch them a lot. And I decided that it will be nice to do a live stream on YouTube. So that was kind of spontaneous from now, from today. Uh, you can do that with a hoop, but it depends on the hoop. I love the Nurgi hoops, uh, the metallic ones. They are, you know, really, really keeping your fabric taut. But um, usually hoops are not as strong as frames. So if you really want to hold your fabric, use a frame. Frame is heavier, of course. So if you have something to hold your frame, it's, you know, it's better. If not, you can use a hoop. I like using hoops. Depends on the hoop again. I because I don't like loose fabric. So, if the hoop is not strong enough, um, I cannot use it. Oh, by the way, I love uh, Q-snaps. Q-snaps are good for keeping your fabric tight. Totally forgot. I'm supposed to. I need to hang my. <laughs> laundry I have laundry to hang and it's already 1 o'clock at night oh it's 1.20 I think it's time to go to bed um yeah I think that um yeah I have a couple of Q-snaps too um but I actually ordered Q-snaps now from one to three stitch because I'm trying to collect materials for um, like I started saying before for a project that I was thinking about for a very very long time I want to try Chataline I love 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 those designs I think they are so beautiful so many interesting threads techniques I think that that will be really really fun uh, but it's crazy expensive. It's so expensive, especially in Israeli money. Like I said, um, it's it's way too expensive. So I kind of it's taking me a long time to collect materials. I kind of buy a little bit every month. So I actually ordered a couple of uh, I think water lilies, if I'm not mistaken, or something like that. Um, and I ordered a little cute knot because. I think that I need another one. Yeah, guys, I think that I will be, you know, going to bed now. <laughs> it's, I um, will not go to bed. I need to hang my laundry because it's been in the 
you know, in the washing machine for like half an hour now, and I need to hang it to dry, and then go to bed, because tomorrow morning I need to take Marky to the doctor's, um, it's not a doctor, it's actually, um, you know, eye check. Thank you. Um, good night to everyone. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching me. <laughs> I really, really thought that I will have nobody to talk to. But thank you for joining me. I hope that I will do it again soon. Good night, girls. <laughs> thank you for watching. <laughs>